Hi, I'm Brenda Somerville and I'm currently in Saarbrück in Germany, training at the National Doubles Training Centre here. I'm in the middle of my three month European training and competition trip and so far I've been having the best time and this is my third stop after visiting a few other countries. While here I will get to chat with some of the German national players and learn a little bit more about their unique program through the government who employs them through either the military or something like the police force and what that entails and how that fits in with their training and tournament schedule. So come with me as we learn more about this interesting story and see what their program is like. So how does it work with the German national team players and I guess how they are employed by the government? Um, yeah, there's a program how the government or how the country um, supports athletes um, and that's part of the, yeah, the army is part of that. There's also spots at the police, so, but yeah, Batman has some, some spots at the army. Um, but it's on a voluntary basis, so I can choose if I want to be part of this and um, yeah. I've chosen so. <laughs> and so what obligations do you have then as being part of the army? Yeah, it's um, yeah you have to do the basic military training camp. So in the beginning when you join the army you have to do a four weeks yeah, course at the army. And um, yeah, the more years you're in the army and then you have to do another camp and so on. So I had to do my third camp actually the last week so um, yeah and now I'm I hope it's the right English English translation but it's I'm a surgeon now I guess. Surgeon. Okay. Yeah. so like you said you had to do one camp and that was during the uber cup finals in Denmark so you had to miss that is there much flexibility for you as an athlete um, yeah, actually I already ha had to do it last year, normally, but with all the yeah, corona stuff and the Olympics being postponed, um, yeah, we also postponed the military camp and uh, yeah, now it was, it was time to do it. I may could have uh, put it in the April next year, but yeah, that won't fit better, so we thought let's do it now after the Olympics and so then yeah, the next three years I don't have to do any, any further camps. Okay, and so how it works is that the military then kind of pay you as a badminton player? Yeah, right. Yeah. Like my my task <laughs> is to play badminton, to do my sport properly, um, and I get uh, a normal pay, like any other soldier gets paid in Germany. So um, yeah, it's quite a good program. Okay, and at these camps, you just are treated completely like you're in the army. So what kind of activities do you do? Yeah, like in the like in the first camp, it's really like basic training, like yeah, also weapons and marching and stuff. Uh, so you you can teach this, um, and now my camp was like uh, I got trained to to teach others, so it was more like really lessons and lectures um, and yeah, teaching others. So it was quite an interesting experience. Um, but yeah, the first camp is the hardest, I would say. Okay. So then is the idea that you would go into the army more when you retire or most badminton athletes will do something completely different when they finish badminton? Um, there is the chance to go in the army then because you're, yeah, you're already in but then you can also uh, get to the normal army I would say. <laughs> and the possibility, possibility is there but actually not many sports athletes do this. Yeah. Have you heard that the military camp is hard physically? Uh, yes. <laughs> also mentality. I, uh, mentally, I think it's pretty hard. Okay. Um, and what made you join the army now? Because the financial support uh, is quite good for the military uh, uh, camp. So that's why I'm joining the uh, military camp. Yeah. And some of the other boys will be at this camp as well? From yes. badminton? Yes. Who are they? Uh, it will be Mark Lausus, Marvin Seidel. Uh, Fabian Gold and also Linda Elfler. Okay, so you get to work together at all or? Um, it could be uh, they will uh, split up uh, uh, for the teams. 
uh, perhaps we are in the same team or with the other teams from the other sport. Uh, let's see, um, it would be uh, four weeks this camp. So mostly you're excited or scared? Um, actually, I'm quite excited, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good, perfect, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>after the Olympics, it was not possible because she had to do it before the year was over. And because of Corona, it's been a lot of uh, different uh, uh, things. So yeah, uh, we try to uh, put it so that uh, it's the least amount of disru disruption. Dis disruption, yeah. Yes, for the, um, for the individual uh, tournament planning and uh, so, so on, but not always possible. So what's the pathway like going from uh, being a young kid in Germany through to the Nationals team? Uh, usually you start training at a club uh, and then after some time if um, they, they see you develop then you get asked to join some kind of centre that is nearby. We have four or five in Germany that have all the facilities you need to train multiple, multiple times a day and also the school um, that works around it. Uh, and then afterwards uh, you get picked for national team or not, join that. and. Then you can do a trial week at the Senior National Centre and then you can yeah, get selected to train there full time or not. Okay, so how was the transition moving from your hometown to the National Centre? So for me it was a bit different after Covid because I decided to not move last year and then did studying for a whole year and decided to move now. But usually it's a quite smooth transition I'd say. You just finish school, you're part of the uh, youth national team and you've been to the senior center before uh, and then you just go for your trial week get thumbs up and they're like okay we want you to train here and then everything goes smoothly you get a place to stay and whatever and yeah it goes yeah. quite fast actually for most people <laughs> yeah for sure and so we've talked to some other players about what it's like to be part of the military through badminton. Um, have you considered this or what is the thought process when you're still quite young in joining this or not? Um, so I've never been that big of a fan of joining the military, which has changed recently, I'd say, because um, it's very good for earning a monthly salary and they also support you after your career. And it's, I'd say, a very good setup actually but um, not everybody can join so um, it depends how many players want to join and what kind of uh, standing you have in the group I'd say and there are only limited places so if you want to go then there needs to be a free space and so I've, I've considered applying and just see if I have a chance or not uh, and then kind of decide on the go if I really want to do it or not or if I get enough money to fund my life uh, from other sponsors and stuff. 